Greetings, useless people and surrounded by freaks. Welcome back to American McGee's Alice. Uh, here with Alice standing on the bed uh, because we don't have the technology to lay down here yet. Uh, I don't even remember the name of the level. A mirror image, I believe? Last episode, we actually defeated easily <laughs> the Red King as we are the queen of whole Wonderland. But before we could uh, actually get help from the Pale Royals, uh, we got kidnapped by the Mad Hatter and brought uh, to his domain. And we still don't know what does the Mad Hatter want, if he even does want anything. Oh, no, 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 no! Well then, well then, that's not a good start. Oh, the Dragonborn. Oh, there's another one. Shut up! So rude. Yes, that's what I thought. Did he just got killed by the fisting of that uh, automaton? I wonder if the jacks work so far. They don't. Blade it is. Oh, fine, run away then. Now, what is it pushed me down, actually? Or sucked me in? This stupid giant mouth. Can you go away? You either fight me or you don't. My god, he's so annoying. <laughs> Doing the burnouts uh, just to impress me, not gonna happen. I can deal the cards for some poker if you want. You wanna play Uno? Uh, there is only one royal of uh, Wonderland, and that is me. Okay, what is that push me? What is that? Oh, it's this mouth that actually sucked me in. You do nothing? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, that was a trap. And now we have to explore the inside of this place. Oh, this is where uh, I actually arrived first. Uh, this is the first uh, part of the... I don't even know how to call it. The rotating floors uh, that make me fall. Uh, yes, that sounds like a good name. The door was closed. Uh, I don't know how the door got opened. And now where do I have to go? Uh... What is this? Takeshi's castle? Is this another one of those ninja trials? Can you stop? Thank you. Okay, let's try. I know that there is... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I know that there is uh, that huge idiot uh, waiting for me. And how am I supposed to hit him? Maybe from here. Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! He's trying to push me down. And I don't have much will either, uh, therefore, I probably should really continue with the blade. Because using the cards won't deal that much more damage and will consume my will completely. Oh no. During our time in the Mad Hatter domain, uh, we kinda started... Oh! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Destroying the clocks. Uh, and knowing the Madatar's obsession with time... No, 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 no! Don't you dare try to suck me in. Why is everybody after my ass here? His fists fly through everything, but my blade doesn't. Uh, die! It will take a long time. So I suppose the Mad Hatter is a bit pissed about what we've been doing my god, look at it! It almost did a 360! This is a war of attrition. Ugh. I won't be defeated by the likes of you. I am the master of defensive warfare. I am the master of cover tactics. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Nothing! Do you think it's over? No, it's not over. I defeated this enemy, but this will not prove to be very easy and as soon as I fall down it's not water it's some sort of mechanical oil engine oil castrol of course uh, L is not being an engine what the hell okay Alice is not an engine but n neither am I but it's not like I get hurt if I touch motor oil oh look damn it's what's the name from the neurotics ward nurse's favorite lunatic yes Oh yeah? Scrawny, ain't she? Who let her out then? They'll blame us most like. She'll need more medicine. Strong medicine. 
She got anything to eat? Doubt it. She never finishes a grub at the asylum. If she had any meat on her, she'd make a delectable dish. Despicable, grotesque, and smelly louts. <laughs> I'll fill your bellies, all right. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Spare me the platitude. Do you have any useful advice? Use their size against them. That helps me even less. A wooden sword. We have a badass here. Oh, no. But actually, oh, no, they're throwing grenades. So maybe I should take this a bit more seriously. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are the next boss. Oh, I love that hat. That's a delightful hat. Where did you get it, Melissa? Did the Manhattan gave it to you? I want one. So I'm not sure what is the right strategy for this uh, uh, boss battle. I could try to call Will Turner. The, he refuses to, to actually cooperate, I see. He never appears uh, during boss battles. Fine, I'll do without you, Will. But if I can't have Will Turner, I will have Captain Jack in a box Sparrow with his flamethrower. Yes. Why? They're throwing themselves at me, trying to squash me with those big bellies. And then opening and multiplying like a matryoshka. Maybe with the jacks? Oh no, they're flying. They won't be very effective. Twiddledee and Twiddledum were talking about uh, the Asylum. They were actually the ones that uh, the most uh, uh, referred the Asylum. And we're talking about Alice escaping from her confinement cell or whatever. And that is because they are the closest thing that we have in Wonderland to real people counterpart. They will be explained in Alice Mendes Returns, I mean, why he absolutely got me, to be... Oh no, oh no, to be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be... Ah! The sons of the director of Rutledge Asylum. Now, in Wonderland instead, at least here, they are supposed to be the henchmen of the Manhunter, which makes you think how fat are they? It makes you think that I might die. They ate a lot, but I keep using the flamethrower, which hopefully will solve some of the situation, even though they seem to respond continuously. So that makes you wonder. They are the henchmen of the Mad Hatter, and they are the two sons of uh, the director of Rutledge Asylum. And they work for him because they're nurses, clearly, because they feared uh, to be blamed for Alice's escape, then what does the Mad Hatter represent? Maybe the director? Maybe that's who he's supposed to be. But we don't know much about the director. Oh my god, can you stop? We don't know much about uh, the director. Uh, what? Uh, oh, it's down here. I was like, uh, he disappeared. He reverted to his uh, wooden sword. Oh no. Oh, watch out. Ah, oh, it's fine. He will fall very hard. We don't know much about him, and therefore we can't really be sure of anything. Except that we defeated Twiddledee and Twiddledum. Bad timing. Pity. Reliable help is so hard to find these days. Come in, my dear. You're just in time for tea. I only take mine with friends. Ooh! Count me to be among them. Accurately. I mean, honestly, that's the truth. Oh, I quite forgot. You and the truth are not on familiar terms. And you would know? Truth is always bitter to those who fear it. I fear nothing. Halt! You fear much. A return trip to the asylum, for example. The memories that drove you there. More years in, shall we say, supervised hospitalization. Ah, yes. You fear much. Of course, all that might be avoided. How? Tell me, what do you mean? Nice hat, Manhattan. But well, I suppose, I suppose that he is an expert in that field. Crazed clockwork. Even the Mad Hatter was talking about the asylum, almost threatening Alice with uh, more years of uh, supervised hospitalized. I should be hospitalized as well. I can't pronounce shit. I saw a Dragonborn. I'm not crazy, am I? Should I really be hospitalized? Oh boy, this soundtrack. Very nice. 
Well, of course, uh, that threat uh, really had an effect on Alice because clearly she believed him and was like, tell me, what do you mean? There he is. No, no, no. I knew he was lurking somewhere, ready for me to go on that bridge to shut me off. Now, this bridge has a symbol, and there are more symbols here, but I doubt they actually mean anything. I don't trust that bridge. I almost fell, just saying. I have a lever to pull uh, while we are in some sort of a dream uh, that the Mad Hatter forced upon us, probably. But he should know that even if uh, he has a very sexy hat and even if he deals a very nice hat like the propeller hat that one of the two fat idiots had, I take my tea only with friends. I thought it was a giant snake. I almost screamed. Right. Left or right? I said right earlier, so let's go right. Must be a premonition. Aha! Lever! Do I have to break that clock as well? No? No? Can't I just be a vandal? A little bit? Eh, just a little bit. This way. Another lever! Guess what? Let's pull it! <laughs> Oh, uh, you will see. I will prepare a nice tea, my hatter. Don't worry. If I obviously don't die in this jump. Good. I don't trust this symbol. Hmm. I really like the design of this level. God, please, no! No! Uh, uh. I was about to say, I really like this, the design of this level, especially because there are no insects. A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object oh. it echoes. Oh! Magician! Oh, I see, I see what he means. Thank you, finally a nice advice. So, some of these platforms are fake, and they will make me fall into the uh, motor oil, which for some reason hurts me. Now, clearly, it's this one. And this one. And this one. The main danger is not even the fact that some of these are fake. It's the fact that jumping here is very slippery and difficult. Who would have thought that I just needed to pull levers to defeat the Mad Hatter? I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Okay, can I directly jump over here? Nice. I probably have to continue that way. So let's go to a safe place. Okay, I understand. I get it. I get it. No, I don't get it. No, no, I was just kidding. Of course I got it. Easy. <laughs> what, you actually thought I was going to fall into the motor oil? Never. I don't like this. It's more asylum rooms, probably. At this time there is a red light in it. What does it mean? Are they filming? Something bad is happening there? Or maybe it's a red light district. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here. Huh? Huh? Problem? Problem? Open your wings. Open your wings. Ah! You using chains, huh? Huh? Got them bondage freak. Come on! I'm a well respectable lady. Stupid perverts. I thought that these doors would have opened, but I guess maybe it's better not to know what's in there. What do I hear? Mechanical movements. Now a question. Do I have to fall down or do I have not to fall down? I'm ready with my eye spear. Because these noises remind me of a certain pervert of an enemy, even more than the bondage freak Phantasmagoria. But no, over here there is nothing. But I'm pretty sure somewhere around here there are the automatons. Can't I do anything here? No. Well then, what am I supposed to do, Mad Hatter? I mean, if uh, you really wanted to defeat the protagonist uh, that threatens to defeat you and conquer your kingdom, wouldn't you just lock him in a level without solution, without exit? Right, I can probably go down here. Oh, no, 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 no I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! They, they blocked me against the, That's... That's a gangbang! Jack, get out of here! Die! That was scary! I absolutely didn't see them! Uh, I was so focused on the automatons! 
Oh, nice climbing animation, by the way. There is nothing here. Good. So probably I have to go this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, it's a mechanical arm grabbing one of those uh, uh, fly swatting idiots. I mean, I should be more gentle with them, they are victims, uh, but... Dumping a bit of garbage. Wake up. Someone's oh! To release us. It's just a human, probably useless. Mm. Undo us, please, from this contraption. Or you could give us tea, you'd prefer. Valid alternative. Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. Aha. Uh -huh. We've done nothing of the kind. It's the Very hatter. serious He's stuff. I've gone quite mad, if I do say so. Speaking of which, how is the Queen of Hearts not like a typhoon? Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Good answer. Wrong, but good. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Real danger? Are we? Really? Here, I wish to go home. Evidently, I've worn out my welcome. I will be here at six, charm as clockwork. This is no opportunity to deny us our tea. Most cruel, I'm sure. And his medicine makes me tired. The hare and the dormouse, once good friends of uh, the Mad Hatter, now imprisoned and tortured unfortunately they actually make me feel bad because it's it's just horrible they are being tortured this guy is being almost drowned and misses a leg and he has his eyes wide open and electrocuted this one is just electrocuted and welded i'm very sorry for them a sharp contrast to what will happen in uh, Alice Mendes Returns, in which this two will be very annoying. But don't worry, you might not get your tea, friend, but I am going to get my tea. I am going to get my tea with the Mad Hatter. The jizzing robots, the automatons, are actually made with uh, these uh, poor souls. And then a bunch of garbage is uh, thrown onto them, and they are assembled into these uh, pervert robotic creatures. Actually, Mad Hatter, you're. I mean, Alice supposedly didn't do more than a bit of primary school, so... Worry not, friends, I will get you out of here. It might take a while, because we're not that close to the end of the game. Ah, now the gate opens up there. Very good. Ah! I will slap a key! Did I do something wrong for you guys? Are you going up and down in the water even faster because I pulled the lever? Worry not, uh, I'll give you uh, a croquet ball to play, okay? Have fun, guys. Let's continue. There's only one thing to do to save them. Keep on charging against the Mad Hatter, and then we will have a nice tea. Haha, <laughs> you can't... You, oh no, oh no, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, he pushed me in the oil! I was mocking him because he couldn't go up the stairs uh, and then I get immediately punished. Uh, oh, no, another one. Okay, I have to kill this one for sure. You stupid idiot getting stuck. The base uh, that you're built with is those crazy guys with a bunch of mechanical garbage. Quite rusty if I see your color. Oh my god, he's destroying me. I'm out of everything. There is another one. Aha! Aha! Then quick, quick! Get into the cell and recover Will. I feel sorry for Alice because obviously she's going through all of this, even though the visuals are what they are, so... 
you have to really to immerse yourself. Uh, but the ones that I actually feel the most sorry for are the hair and uh, the dormouse. Okay, he opened uh, that gate. Does that mean that I should go there? Or should I just continue? No, go check if I miss something. I didn't miss anything, but I chopped myself. Or not, because I can go out, because I can go down again. Aha! Tricked you! <laughs> and now that I avoided you, I will take a turn to the left. Hello. Quick as Mercury and mad from it, among other things. He is obsessed with time. Find him or your own time may be short. Here, <laughs> boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow, ow, ow. I'm becoming very twisted. That's the beauty of acid, but don't quote me on that. Mm, oh, there is the diabolical pepper spray to brew a very nice tea. Ooh, very interesting. Oh, look who's there. Look who's there. Don't worry, I will deal with you guys. Let me just enter here. Oh, it's the Griffon. I forgot about you. Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. They're blithering idiots. <laughs> but the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Like a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds, or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today. Huh. I'll manipulate time itself if it is to save those bubbering idiots, or however you call them. I'm going to turn to the legendary Pokémon Dialga to change time, or maybe I will just continue the game. What time is it? Who knows? That's the Griffon, it's going to be one of our allies. Uh, and he reminds me my plush Griffon from Guild Wars 2. He's adorable, he's white and pink, he looks like a strawberry marshmallow. But okay, enough being a whining bitch. I'm going to end this episode here, so here with Alice and the Griffon. I will rest here, so I'll see you next time, and bye bye.